Hello everyone, welcome to the next instalment of the Imply Online short video series. So the last one was about uploading a video. This one is still on that same topic and it's going to be around uploading a private video. So not all uploads you will want to share to everyone in your team. So this is where the private video function comes in real handy. So as before, I'm going to get straight into this video. So if I share my screen, you can see I'm on the fixture page as I was in the last video and I'm going to click new video in the top here. So the use case for this might be if you want to upload a training session and you want to share it to just a group of players rather than everyone. You know, everyone might not need to see this video. It could be a video that is highlighting the positive negative of a certain player, like a kind of an academy player, for example. And you don't want every player to see that because that wouldn't be necessary. So you can upload it just for that particular player if you want. So we're not going to go into the fields here. That was covered in the last video. We're just going to focus on the private video tick box in the bottom um, right here. So if I hover over this, it says a private video can only be seen by you and club admins unless you share it to other users. So as I mentioned, by default, any upload pings a notification out to everyone to let them know that a new video has been added to their account. So if you don't want that to be the case, you just tick this and then basically do exactly the same upload process. So then you can share that video afterwards, whether it be to one person, to a group of people, or you might not share it at all. You might just have a video that you sit, you upload and it sits on your account only visible by yourself. Um, so very useful in terms of being kind of in control and kind of gatekeeping what videos are accessible by which different users, whether they're players, whether they're students, whether they're coaches, etc. So that has been this video. As I said, it would be a quick and simple one. Um, so that's been uploading private videos that you don't want to share to every single member of your team. So that's it for this video and hopefully I will see you in the next installment of the series.